this okay in organza and satin fabric together into this one here so i'm going to be cutting 10 pieces let me set this on the side i'm going to be cutting 10 pieces of my organza fabric in four by four okay so it's entirely up to you like i said earlier on you can make it five by five six by six three by three any size but you know that the bigger this the squares the bigger your brooch is going to be and i think this is quite sizable for the four by four if you want it smaller then you go three by three okay so i'm going to be doing 10 pieces of the organza fabric okay in four by four and then five pieces of my satin fabric in four by four i'm going to go um, ahead and cut all of those and then come back and then we finish um, putting the pieces together all right let me bring you up to speed with what i have done so like i said i caught 10 pieces of organza okay and then i caught five pieces of the satin now what i have done is i'm just drinking them so you fold them let me do one fold here for you to see so you just fold them into equal halves and then into another half and then you stitch okay just like we did this one the difference is going to lie here with the arrangement of the organza and your satin fabric so you start with organza satin organza organza satin organza organza satin organza you do that until you've put everything together on a thread like i have done now all right and then we'll come back to it so i'm going to carry on organza satin organza organza satin organza in that arrangement and then we come back to the next step okay so my next one is organza i'm going to do what i did for you to see here okay remember your fold will have to go in the same direction so my fold is here towards this end all my fold what i mean by the fold is the opening here okay they are all going towards this direction so i'm going to be stitching from here to here all right with running stitches they are not supposed to be very small very big running stitches mm -hmm. just like that okay you pull it to join these ones so we've done organza satin organza organza satin organza the next one will be organza again okay all right remember the fold towards this end then we do our running stitches again okay and then we do the next one is satin all right so i'm going to get my satin and then in the same manner put in my running stitch So you can see the arrangement of Ganza satin or Ganza Ganza satin or Ganza Ganza satin or Ganza. Okay, I think you have to keep doing that until uh, you get to the end, so that you don't skip any f in you don't skip any arrangement. All right, I'm going to carry on off camera until I've done everything and then bring it back here. Okay, so as usual, you're going to try and close the gap. Yeah okay with a with a stitch now you realize that because we did a lot of uh, a lot of stringing on this particular one it even looks beautiful this way but that is not the idea we're going for so we're going to end up finishing it off properly but let's see if any of our brooch can cover this hole if it's not going to cover the hole then we are going to have to close up the gap a little bit by stitching in some more but it looks like i may get something to cover that big hole okay so so yeah so this can sit in here so that will work okay we're going to carry on. I'm going to have to cut my thread, make a knot, cut the thread off, and then we carry on from there. 
okay so the next step is now we're working on the satins in uh, in the interspace okay so you're going to fold the satin first you make a, a, a slight fold at the tip and then you stitch a pearl bead on top of it now the next thing is to pinch one organza on this side and one organza on this side okay and then we run a stitch to hold it together okay now i think i'm going to explain something to you in a minute but uh, let's do the stitch so i'm going to pinch them like this and then run a stitch to hold it together okay Just at the tip here. You run a tiny stitch at the tip. Okay, so this is what you should have. Now, it looks like every fabric comes out with a different effect. Now, you can see that the cotton fabric came out with a different effect. And the satin and organza fabric is also coming up with a different effect. But whatever it is, they all have their beauty. And I think it's beautiful in that sense. So I'm going to carry on with each one of them. And then I'll bring it back. So you're going to fold this on top of it like this. And then stitch a pearl bead onto it okay then when you stitch your pearl bead you're going to pinch this side of the organza and then this side of the organza and stitch it together like that and then you get this effect okay, okay so this is what we have i'm liking it and then from the back so they are all brooches 